equation. And also which, predicting the products. Oh, and I think I make you predict the products. I oh, make these up. what a just, doozy. And I have to solve my own problems. KMNO4 Four. reacts with iron FeSO4. Iron 2 sulfate. Is it an acidic solution? Uh, it is. The solution is acidified. So that sense. means it's. So we have to think this through. Permanganate. So look on that table from last yep. unit or whatever. If you want to, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm referring to, assuming Mr. Bergman can find it in his uh, slideshow. There. Here it is. This is the preaction. Permanganate turns into manganese 2 in an acidic solution. All right. So I'm going to just balance this equation. MnO4 negative is going to turn into Mn plus 2. Mn 2 positive. I think I, I underlined the wrong one on the chart, but this is Oops. the correct answer. Yeah. Oh well, this will be, then I got to balance the O's first. Mm -hmm. the, the MN's are balanced. So I'll say four waters. Mr. Bergman, do you want to talk at all while you left out potassium? Because I shouldn't have. Okay. My, my mistake. Thank okay. you, Mr. Sams. And so I need to put potassium on this side, don't I? K positive. And I'm going to then need um, eight hydrogens on this side. And I need to balance the charges. Now I've got eight uh, this has no charge. There's no charge there. And this is going to be uh, three, eight, five. It'd be five electrons, right? Yep. Okay. Now I've got the FeSO4, and it needs to go up. Right. So the so there's iron. two choices. You've got iron and you've got sulfate. Now iron, what's charged iron in this? That's part? plus two right there. Because sulfate, of course, is minus two. Right. So we're looking for something to go up. Now, sulfate, let's talk about it for a moment. Mm -hmm. It does have a redox reaction where it can turn to sulfite. Sulfite, sulfite but that's going but down. But that is going down, so the sulfate that. is not going to do anything. No, so but iron the, is going to go up. But the iron can go up to ferric, which is Fe3 mm -hmm. positive, and then we still need to put the sulfate over on this side of the equation. Yep. Now, to balance this out, well, ladies and gentlemen, everything's balanced except the charge. So we don't have to play around too much with this. The side charge on this side is zero, and this side would be plus one. So I simply need one electron right there. Yep. Excuse okay. Me. Now, to uh, balance this out, of course, we need to multiply the bottom reaction by five. And so uh, everything cancels out. So it'll be eight H positive plus uh, KMnO4 plus five S F E S O four makes 5Fe3 positive. Mr. Sams is writing this down, so when I go to the next screen, plus an Mn2 positive, plus four waters, plus potassium. Because I want to recopy this um, for the next screen. You probably will just continue on down on your paper, but I have a, a screen limitation. Actually, I think I know what I need to do, actually. So I'm going to go to another screen so I can answer this problem. I've got basically KMnO4 plus 5 FeSO4. So the key thing to that is actually just to get this and this coefficient, if I'm not mistaken, in this particular problem. I believe so. And so, um, yeah. So now we're going to do our BCA thing. What do I know? I have 50 milliliters. And what's the concentration of this, Mr. Sam? 0.1 molar. 0 0.10 molar. And the FeSO4 20 is... 20 milliliters. 20 milliliters. And it's mo molarity... It doesn't tell us. We need to find it because this oh. is a titration problem. So the question is, what's the concentration of the iron 2? And the iron yep. 2 is in the FeSO4. So yeah. this is once it reaches the equivalence the, point. Yeah, so we're titrating it. So, so all right. Yep. Well, I see a volume and I see a molarity. Hey, look at that. M times a V minimal. equals the moles. So we can take 0.1 times 50 would be uh, five. five. I had this theme going with yes, the five. Yes, I'm seeing a theme. Five millimoles of potassium per manganate over one. And now I can now use, now you see I've got my mole to mole ratio. It's five to one or one to five. So I can say one millimole of potassium per manganate is equal to five millimoles of Fe. So I bet you can do that one in your head, Mr. I bet five times a five is a twenty-five. Yeah. So we have twenty-five millimoles of the iron. Now, that's FeSO4. So some of you might be asking, I thought the question asks about the Fe2 positive charge. Well, remember, all sulfates are soluble, with the exception yes, of barium, lead, calcium, Mercury. And mercury. Well, this isn't either of those. Nope. It's iron. It's so soluble. So this is actually also equivalent to the concentration of the iron 2 positive. Right, the number of millimoles of the iron 2 positive. The millimoles, thank yeah. you. The Fe2 positive would be equal to 
25 millimoles. Did that's for the um, initial molarity? Uh, just the molarity. Yeah, probably the initial molarity. Yeah. So you're not going to divide by 70. Some of you might be considering we should add them. But it's acting just about this. So this would be over 20 milliliters. Correct. So 25 would be one point something. Yep, 1.25. One and a quarter molar. And that is the answer, folks. So yes. these problems, they can ask so many different ways, so, so many different ways, and you've got to watch them and try and figure out how you're going to do them. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about it. And we are done. And we're going to go out on a wonderful, beautiful note here, Mr. Bergman. Not playing the cowbell, not the ukulele, not the kazoo, not the buckets or the spoons, or the flutes, but the violin. Now, Something like that. i got to work on this. Now, thing. Mr. Bergman learned learn to play the violin with his daughter. Everybody say, aw. Aw. All right, guys. Do well on your test. We'll see you in class. Bye-bye.